Hello. We are calling in progress. Please turn on your camera. Thank you very much. Your cooperation is very much appreciated. Thank you, sir. How are you, Hanye? Hello. Hi, why are you so sian sian like that? Mm. Good holiday started already there. Fully mm. open, right? Your primary school, secondary school. It's only the JC haven't started. JC having exam. Why? Huh? I just very tired. Okay. Why? CCA? Yeah, I have CCA. I had CCA. Yeah, you have badminton, right? No. <laughs> huh? Table tennis. Oh, so uh, no pain, no gain, uh, and your competition will start next year. Yeah. The more you are lagging your practice and trainings, uh, you will affect your performance. That's like, this is about discipline. Okay. So I'm waiting for our dear friend to come in, Juni. I'm not sure. Anything wrong with this statement here? My friend just sent me this. He was like, oh my God, seriously. Is there anything wrong with this statement here? You cannot put your dogs on the chairs and tables. No, oh, is there anything wrong with this <clears throat> notice? No. no. Are you sure? Look yeah, up. I think so. You read, you read, you read. Kindly attention, do not put your dogs on the chairs and tables. Should I say in Chinese? Um... Uh wrong Look at it again. You sure not? I don't know this is in Singapore where, oh my goodness, kindly attention. Do you mean to learn quite my kindly attention? Learn quite So, Nike Tai Sir Tui. This is Uncle Kangan Chu Lai. I think it's like kindly uh, attention. No, just attention. No, like no, one, two, Hey, what's wrong, man? Oh, hey, yo, I hate the bullets. Which one do you think you will, if you are the boss, huh? which one will you... Ah. Let's see. Ah. I mean, I, I'm very OCD here. Okay, which one will you choose? Yeah? Which one will you choose? Um if you are the boss, which one will you choose? Number two. Oh number two are why? Because it sounds more friendly and like not like more stone. Oh the tonality la. Correct now. So you say, do not put your dogs on the tables and chairs, please. So number three, attention. Please do not put your dogs on the tables and chairs. Number one is dogs are prohibited to be latched on the tables and chairs. Isn't it one, two, three acceptable? Compared to kindly attention. You need to learn quite a editing issue, right? Agree now. The editing problems. Okay. Oh yeah, I just confirm, huh? you come here on the 30th of December. Huh? I need to be at RSVP. Like. I need to, to count the hit count. 
Will you be coming? I'm waiting for your answer, my dear. And yet. Yes. Yeah, I just asked you, will you be coming? Can you hear me just now? Uh, no, not really. Oh, can I repeat the question? Uh, are you coming on the 30th of December? Uh, oh, I'm not okay. sure. Because I will be away from, in, in the Christmas week. I don't think I'll be able to make it. 30th of December is two days before school reopening. Yeah. I, uh, think, I, I think I'll be on a plane or something like that. You're on the way home? Uh? Where are you going? China? Yep. Oh, so can you confirm again next lesson to check with your daddy? Oh, because uh, coming or not coming, I need to take the attendance out. Okay. If you're too long, then uh, because I also have to allocate the gift. Oh, right. Don't 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 last minute. Your come then not enough gift. So, oh, how is it, Okay, let's go. Oh, thanks to all of you, the two of you last week, uh, you did a good job. Uh, that you know you come convert this into this okay so uh let's see let's share okay let's stop my uh, sharing let's see um i think i got the other groups of students oh my god where is it hold on huh? I'm opening up the file to come to let you read the, the other group of students. Okay. So, okay, let's share. <clears throat> this is uh set. Okay, look at this one. Huh? You see, look at the set one one. Huh? Okay, same thing, huh? Transportation consists of many different types of vehicles. So if because they are being motivated by you and Junyi, who did this, uh, then after that, after reading the same thing, so you see how the set one wrote this. Uh, uh, transportation consists of many different types of vehicles. Two examples are cars and bicycle, which are both forms of transport. They both have wheels and tires, which is the most important part as it helps them to move around. They also have brakes to help them to slow down its pace or put it to a stop. Neither of them can, what is it? Neither of them can float on water. Yes, so they have they are not buoyant. You know it's buoyant, right? The one floating on the, on the sea. Yeah? Bicycles and cars are normally used to get from one place to another quickly. Uh, in a way, yes, I agree with you. Yes, I agree with her. Agree with you. They are both widely popular uh, to the public as they are able to travel on roads, which is easy and convenient and less pollution uh, in a way. Uh, by right, bus should be a big pollution, but now we have EV buses. Okay, Fiona say that these, there are, many, there are multiple modes of transport. This includes land transport, and among these different types of transportations, includes the land transport. This includes cars and bicycles. They are mostly commonly used vehicle around the world. Um, that's true, very true. And in fact, everyone, especially the third world country like Africa, mostly are bus and bicycle. And, and, and India, in fact, they are all crowded with buses. Even some of them, even might sit on top of the bus also. They are similar yet different. Both these vehicles have tires. And these tires are what support? What support the vehicles to move? The, type, the types of tires we normally see are used on lens. True, huh? but however, there are these there are tires made that made that can be used to travel on water. The hybu, uh, the what you call uh hubcraft. Hubcraft. Also, both the vehicles need gears to help turn the wheel, allowing it to support by the tires to slowly carry the vehicle forwards. This one is definitely more than 100, 100 words. Huh? I, I heard this one is 106. For one pay and Fiona is one two eight. However, a bicycle is more eco friendly. This is because bicycle do not need petrol to move. Of, of course, you we'll use the human's uh, strength. Despite this, many people still choose to travel using cars, and it is faster and more convenient and more comfortable. Of course, 
A car can hold more people at once and can travel long distances. While the bicycle required the person to pedal, which is tiring. Okay. So from this summary, they from these pictures, okay, as it's been summarized by from this uh, bicycle, that this is the first time. I don't understand why they have one big one and one small one for what purpose. So funny and so odd shit. <clears throat> then after that, maybe it's for balancing. Uh. Then after that, they, they, they change to the same size. So from this picture here, they convert this. Okay, well done to them. Uh. Okay, so now go back to your screen. Right, so Juni and Hanye and Xingyu. Xingyu, you, you are absent today because I think you're not feeling well. Get well soon. Okay. So you missed last week lesson and this week lessons are uh, face uh, I mean zoom face to face. So I hope you can um sort of use WhatsApp to send your this words um uh, 100 words here for your visual graphic text. So I know how good you are, okay? Now not just to test you, but also you know practice your summary writing skills. So if possible, okay, please. Uh okay. Okay, let's look at this feature here. Okay, let's move down. So did you notice the difference? A ship is slower than a plane. A taxi is less or more comfortable than a bus. Usually a taxi should be more comfortable, not less. Huh? A train is noisier than a car. Not true, right? Juni. I'm sorry, Hanye. Now, so this, uh, if you take trains, uh, maybe MRT, yeah. But I think the bullet train in China is very smooth and quiet, right? Have you taken a uh, very smooth? I, I took before in China and Taiwan. Very smooth and very quiet and very well, comfortable, you know. You don't feel the train like, like moving like that, like, like moving uh, very vigorously, you know, not uh, very unstable. So rules for comparative. So one sleeper, slower, cheaper. So you have to use all this one later on to compare the slower, noisier, and less and more comfortable, okay, by using this. So uh, rules for comparative. So you need to use the compare. If you are comparing for two things, it's slower. Okay, two things. Okay, so we are comparing bus and train. Uh, so this is one of the samples. So when you're using this in your editing, in your visual graphic text, or even your essay writings, you know, you can use this comparative adjective to describe, okay? Comparative, okay? So that is busy, busier, noisy, noisier. Then add, take away the Y and the I and replace this one. Sorry, take away the Y and replace I, E, R. So good to better. Hey, after good and better, what is the third one? Hanye. Uh? <clears throat> Good and better. What is the next one? Best. Yes, best. Okay, these are more or less, more expensive. Okay. So let's go to the content. So we're going to look at the, the topics for today is future public transport, which is transportation. So 2,580 2, words are not surprising here. Okay. Transportation defined as the movements of people or goods from one place to another by Cambridge Dictionary has evolved with the time through uh, from the bicycle you saw just now the big wheel and the small wheel and now you see with uh, and I heard people buy a bicycle of three to five thousand dollars or even ten thousand dollars for you would you buy a bicycle that costs five thousand dollars crazy eh well wow, so people really buy such a good bicycle for well no, I don't know well maybe it's their hobby um just like every other aspect of in life. Huh? Right now, the world is so ahead in technology that advancements are being developed every day. True, huh? What comes ahead concerning transportation are solution for most of the problem. So the world has, right now, city street congestions, you know, right? Jam, environmental pollution, transportation method and dilemma. Not today, huh, Hanye. Oh, yeah, today, this morning, I, I fetched my wife to go and see a doctor. You need to travel from Yishun to Amokyo. You know, halfway, uh, yawn really. Uh, maybe I'll yawn and yawn, you will pass me one. Halfway, uh, I saw a motorcyclist uh, was knocked down by a car. He lay on the floor on the road. Uh, thing, uh, quite bad. Uh, not, thank God he's still moving. 
but I think his leg got pretty bad injured. So what got to do with transportation? Huh? So do you agree that motorcycle is one of the most dangerous to cause accident? Hello, back to you. Mm, I we think um if there's an accident, uh, <laughs> it'll be a big hazard to us because if accidents happens often, we might get affected. Like let's say there'll be like curfew and they like say you can't take the car anymore or something like that. Uh wait uh, something sorry my, my I think my my this uh, machine suddenly had Yeah. Well, I, I want to wait, wait for the reply from my, my, my colleague. <clears throat> Are you okay? Share. What I meant is that, do you agree that, uh, Han Yen, motorcycle is more prone to have more accident? Do you agree? Yes. How about the, how about the transport on the road, uh, the bus, the lorry, the bicycle, the motorcycle? I mean, I mean if they are like not careful, <laughs> this it's definitely easy to get to accident, but then I think that Buses and big cars will be like very safe because like they will absorb the impact. Not only that, right? The 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 you are sitting inside the metal. The metal protect you. Whereas the motorcycle is the human fresh pro protect the metal, which is the motorcycle, right? And, and I think you your daddy fetch you to school, right? Yeah, honey, all right. Now. So sometimes inside the daddy car, you will see some motorcycle is the way hen chen, hen, hen chong zi zhuan, right? You will just turn sway around like nobody business. Uh. Agree? Very dangerous, right? You, you do you see your the motorcycle in sometimes when your daddy in the car, you see the motorcycle will sway and turn without giving signal. Especially the Malaysian motorcycle, horrible. Okay? Okay, so you can see the video. Wait, uh, I want to make it bigger first. So this is just the introduction. So, Hanye. Oh, your mom is talking to you. Okay, never mind. Are you done? What was I supposed to do? I didn't hear. I was um moving to my mom. She just came back. Oh, no, no, no. I did not say anything. I know you are oh. talking to her mom. That's why I paused for a while. Oh, oh okay, yeah, okay. So you didn't miss anything. I, I also okay, messaging okay. to my colleagues and to the group chat to ask, Judy, are you coming in? All right, all right. So you didn't miss anything, okay? So, all right. So now I'm going to start. Uh, I'm asking you, uh, if you are the transport minister of Singapore, right? Okay, you're now your transport. How are you going to cut down car pollutions? And how are you going to cut down car congestions? And how are you cut down the jam, the traffic jam? Um, firstly, to answer the uh the pollution question, I'll make a target, I'll set a target so that um the, all of Singapore's cars will be electric by like let's say 2030 or something like that. Correct. Okay. But do you think it's safe to have an electric car? Yes. Would you uh, dare to take an electric plane? Not really. Uh, I see you, you, you then then then. Yeah, but but then electric cars is like the the petrol stations might be changed, might be like adding in like uh charging ports. <clears throat> like the charging ports uh it will actually like act as like a petrol station while you just go in and then like let's say you're in Malaysia and then mm. you just had a long road trip and then you arrive at the petrol station and your car is charging. So you can just stay there for like half an hour. You go into the toilet, you go take uh you go take uh, you go to the toilet, you go you buy some stuff from the convenience store and I think 
with the technology. Oh, you just a cafe, they sit down and wait for 20 minutes. After your car chat ready, then you can go ahead and drive, right? Yes. Is that as convenient as filling up the uh, car with petrol? Then aeroplane also can have a charges in the sky. Right? If a charges in the sky, just like a person is dead. Hey, wait. How about the ship? Uh? Can we have an EV ship? Like uh? a can we have electric ship? Uh? Yes. To, to me, I think yes. Because <coughs> a planes, planes like they need to be very light to fly. <laughs> but that ships that if it is built correctly, then it can like hold like a lot of weight. So like there'll be kind of like big batteries and then like a lot of personnel to take care of the batteries like during a long trip. Like let's say oh there's a, like a huge cargo ship coming and then like it only has like fifteen percent and it's like still twenty kilometers away and then like if it, with a big battery right then that means that it has like way more electricity and way more power to push the ship lah. Oh, and you are born to be an engineer. <laughs> you are looking in the engineer point of view. Very good. So, so Mr. Uh, Transport Minister, besides curbing the pollution issue, uh, okay, you want to convert them all into EV car. Okay, fine enough. Fair, fair enough. What else do you want to curb the, the traffic congestion? So, pollution handle already. Uh, pollution center already means you want to make them to use all the EV car chargers. But don't you think EV also cause pollution? Because you need fossil fuel to burn into, to convert into... Uh, what the the heat energy and others energy right correct now you still need energy right to burn the fossil fuel to convert them into electric energy correct so somehow rather unless you say you use solar energy to convert into heat or uh, electric energy lah right? right? so in countries like those like now now it's going to be winter not much sun eh, in Europe how so all the car will be stay there and then the battery car the the EV car like BYD Tesla car all these. If they run by battery, you don't you think it's very dangerous? I I seen in news uh, that you know the car exploded while charging because of the battery. Just a handphone, right? You know, blood, blood, um, what not, um exploded. What do you think, Mister, from uh Minister of Transport? What is your opinion on this? I think the main thing is to do is to um uh. Tell the car manufacturers to like oh do not like stuff this big. A big battery into like such a small space, and then like must have like sufficient cooling. Ah, cooling must system. have must have like sufficient cooling, and or else it will like explode and catch fire or something like that. Oh, I never honestly never think of that. That's why I'm not in the science department. Yeah, true. Huh? you need the cooling heat because it's if it's too hot, the whole thing will burn. Just like in a PC or uh, computer system, there's a cooling fan, right? To cool down so that you'll not get overheated. You are very good. Thank you. What about the traffic congestion, Transport Minister? Yes, Transport Minister. Stop looking at your laptop, the other one, and uh, let me know what is your answer. Anya. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Stop looking at your the other laptop, please, and look at my laptop here. What okay. is your what is your take? Take on how do you curb traffic congestion? Well, traffic congestion. Traffic traffic congestion. This oh, is oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, um, I think I will make uh I will introduce like fees on peak time like, like ERP but then I'll like add it to like most doesn't of the work man. ERP is still traffic congestion my huh? I know I know like. I I'll make it to most of the roads so that like if you're at this time and and place of the day you're like oh you get charged, then I'm like everyone will like oh no you get charged for like ten dollars just for going this place at at like nine a.m. Okay. What like, are you oh, going to no. do with the money? Hmm? After collecting all these charges, what are you going to do with this money? I'm just gonna build roads and stuff like taxpayer money lah. Yeah lah, I mean you tax the people money for using the road right? So like ten dollars. Yes. So all this money might come out to balloon up to thousand or hundred of thousand dollars. So this money, what are you gonna to do to the country? I'm How going to use it? inside your pocket? Ah? No, I'm just gonna give it to the national reserve or something. Ah, very good. So that uh during the COVID, right, the money can give to the poor, right? 
jobless. So we put that like it's just a deposit first, uh, Okay. So that is traffic congestion. How about day to day traffic jam? How are you going to curb this traffic jam? I might need to widen the roads though. So like more cars can come in and then or like maybe like try hiring engineers and trying to like figure out what's wrong with the intersection that is you are multitasking very good i can see because your eyeballs reflection give away too much okay so that's it 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 well done. Uh, I think I like your answer for the, the, this uh, car pollution, car congestions, and car. Uh, oh, sorry, not car. Uh, yeah, okay. Vehicle pollution, vehicle congestion, and vehicle traffic jams. And the answer down, total shit down. Very good. Uh. Very simple and easy to understand answer. Very good. So now I want you to read this, please. When it comes to technology. um, When it comes to technology, everything is about time. Scientists and engineers have speculated that the time that it will take to have a perfect product for the public display, uh, based on the research by scientists, five years from now, cities will begin to shift towards the networks of driverless taxis. Ten years from now, almost everyone will use public transportation with alternative fuels such as maglev technology, short for magnetic levitation, which is the advantage of traveling have not having no friction and having the capability of traveling 600 miles per hour. 15 years from now, all vehicles and streets will be fuel coefficient, autonomous, or at least have some intelligent transport systems. As you know, in China, they are using that kind of magnetic navigation uh, to move the trains, like, to connect, the, to move the train like, like, like this, uh, north and north, repel, north and south, right? They kind of attract it to move so that it can help <coughs> <coughs> to save fuel and speed-wise can control in that. And not only that, you will help to improve the transport's comfort comfortable level. They are, they are, they are environment friendly. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's summarize these uh, and then see what I get. Okay, so by right, seeing you, seeing you, see, uh, seeing you, right? Yes. You are supposed to summarize these. Uh, so I, Uncle Raymond has helped you to summarize it at least uh, about 51 words here. So ready? This one actually is. Uh, Sometimes I hate the, the autocorrect. Just you must have a comma that comes in. In the near future, not far away from our generation, transportation will be heavily relied, not replied, sorry, I know. Rely on artificial intelligence. So this is, should be faster. Yeah. will be heavily rely on artificial intelligence with sophisticated technology to leverage a sustainability environment to travel. On the road, driverless vehicles will be the trends in most of the cities for transportation as well as cutting forces fuel consumptions. So, Xingyu, Juni, maybe you're not coming in, it's going to be 8.30 already, only left our dear friend Han Yen, you meant to my friend, you weren't. Yeah, I was not to my Okay. Uh, Anyway, poor Hanye today, Hanye is alone today. Anyway, I hope when school reopen, there will be more students coming. I know everyone are now having, having holiday books, I understand. Huh? So I also got big holiday books now also. <laughs> so this one, 51 words, that I have seen you to summarize the entire paragraph here, which is 105 words. So the keywords we are talking about is the technology, um, driverless vehicles and of course the talking about the cities most of the cities that we have now the cities here so with the three keywords I summarize this uh, passage in at, at, uh, 51 words okay now this one this one is yours uh, Hanye. yeah Hanye is yours uh. so I read uh, then you summarize okay 30 years from now urban air mobility that means traveling in the um, we call this a um, Air. So this one just now was talking about land transport. Huh? So I summarize in 51 words. Right. So 30 years from now, the urban air mobilities will begin to be a common methods of transportation 
It's true. Uh, now everywhere we got budget airline, aeroplane is flying like nobody business. 30 years ago, why got these kind of things? We Uncle Raymond want to travel, but aeroplane was so damn expensive. Very expensive. We do not have budget airline, if I'm not mistaken. It's only, only those very famous airlines that's all. Now we got all many different types of airlines to travel. I think China also have, right? And yeah, correct. Right? <clears throat> China also got a lot. And last time it was only in China, 30 years or 40, 30 plus years ago, was only two airlines. The China Eastern Airline and China Air only, that's all. So by achieving all these developments, the world will get to be a more utopian and less stressful place. Happy place. Huh? Are you sure not? And less stressful. I doubt so. Like. When people have start to fly, means you've got more responsibility and duties and burden at times. Like. All these advancements will reduce global warming uh, by using alternative fuel. Okay, fair enough. Make main cities a more habitable, habitable, habitable place and industries such as medicines and essential will have priority making everything to function better. Well, okay, let's see how. The future of transportation is all based on solving problems. Yeah, take note, uh, take note of this one. Uh. It's very important now, uh, Xin and uh, Juni, if you are listening, the future of transportation is all based on solving problems. What kind of problems are we talking about? Like what just now the transport minister, Hanye was saying, vehicle pollution, vehicle congestion, vehicle traffic jams, and not only that, get the best vehicles to have less fuel consumptions and making the world a better place to live in, to work with, and to be able to enjoy. One of the safest methods of transportation by eliminating human e error. Back to you, Hanya, ah. 50 words. Let's go. You need to summarize. Okay, I'm done. I just say that. Okay, good. <clears throat> oh, okay, let's see. Yeah. Uh. Forty seven words. Well done. Okay. 30 years from now, how there will be a common methods of transport? Huh? 30 years from now, how there will be a common methods? A bit English not correctly. There will there this will make the world a more utopian place. Uh, you have to change the word lah. That okay, okay. You want to use utopian place, okay, fine. Uh, utopian place, reduce global warming, and make main city a more habitable place. This will be achieved by solving problems that are present now, hence making transport safer. And you actually use every single word inside there. Are you able to summarize using your own words and only choose three keywords from this paragraph? Okay, I will keep this. Huh? Okay, you can All right. Uh, I, will, I will keep this. This is more or less copy the whole journey. You are lifting from this paragraph, which is not wrong because you summarize this paragraph, which is not wrong. But I want you like what I did. You see, I use a few keywords here. And then I summarize it using the few few keywords. Like the ones I use will be um, instead of uh, eco friendly, I use sustainability. Instead of eco efficient, I use uh, less cutting fossil fuels. Okay, something like that. Okay. Remember, uh, next year I said three. Uh, 
the summary is not always so it's easy like in set one and set two. Huh? Next will be Juni, yeah, but I think Juni is not coming in. Uh. Ah. So I don't know. Let's see how we're going to do the summary for the next one. <clears throat> I got to get some water, huh? don't mind. I need to get my Puma seal already. My phlegm is coming. I've been sick for the past few days. Okay, I have summarized using your own words. Oh, you did that. Uh, okay, thanks. You're done, huh? Uh, Hanye? Forty-four words. Mm, okay. Thirty years from now, there will be a universally accepted mode of transportation. Ah. This one confirms super good. I like this. This will make the world a more connected place. Hello, you eat too You can do this. You don't do this. Hello, you can not see another laptop. Look at my laptop. Well done. Now this will eat too much. Very good. Eh? Hey, can you focus on bro? Bro, focus, focus. You want to play Minecraft, Rockstar, or COD? Wait a minute. Okay, bro. Then you mommy walk through and see. You just done. You pay me. I I I I told you I don't care. Huh? But very good, huh? you can multitasking and still can give me such a good answer. Let, let me read again. Huh? 30 years from now, there will be a universally accepted mode of transportation. This will make the world a more connected place. And slow down the climate change and make cities more favorable to live in. This will happen by solving problems now, making transportation safer. You bloody hell, very good. How's your titi? It's okay. Please, how's your titi, kaka? Well done, well done. Okay, let's look at this one. Uh. See, uh, okay, I challenge with you, uh, Hanye. Okay, Hanye, we challenge. Uh. Who can come out the fastest? Uh. Okay, let's go. One advancement that is essential for the world to become a live, livable place is the auto automation of transportation. This is beneficial in every way possible. Ambitions being able to transport people around answering emails or even playing a game cards, game of cards without even having to worry about hitting the brakes or avoiding the car changing lanes. 
autonomous vehicles will become this will become these vehicles huh something wrong it will automated vehicle will become something wrong there's something missing what will become hmm, there's something missing these vehicles will become these vehicles hmm? will work with a series of sensors radar lasers and cameras all able to analyze and process information about the surrounding faster than any human can the new york times released an article with some more in-depth information about how automated vehicle will become a reality sooner and expected. Let's go! Yeah, I'm done. Oh, I'm faster than you. Oh, I got 55 words. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> I need it, man. How many words do we have here? I need to go 44 words again. Okay, let me drink my Fuma Seals anti flame water. Okay. Let me let me read my uh, the advance of driverless vehicles will be the next paradigm shift, allowing humans. To enjoy a smooth, safe, and successful ride to and fro <clears throat> without worrying to hit the brakes or pull the handbrakes for any emergency situations. More research will be carried out. To ensure this transportation will be the next era of transport. Your turn. I need to read your answer, please. Um, transportation being automated will benefit everyone. Transportation, transporting people will become much more safe as the car will brake or accelerate when the sensors tell it to. This will allow the car to make decisions and react to a human faster than a Will right. allow the car to make decisions and react to a situation faster than the human could. Yeah, yeah. Recently in uh, TikTok, I saw uh, this guy was walking on the lane and then suddenly he fell off. Eh. Then this Tesla car came uh, and suddenly he, he avoided the, 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 the pedestrian. But um, while avoiding the pedestrian, he could hit another car. But the, it was not such a good, strong impact. But at least the car, the sensors, you're right. If it's a human, you might I I uh, the person the driver might be avoiding the pedestrian, but he might 
end up hitting the other car more serious impact. So the sensor in the car is much better. Depends, uh, to be honest. Uh, because humans, sometimes we know roughly how to gauge, but if the is, is a driver that is very inexperienced and you avoid the pedestrian, he might end up even hit the more the accelerator, hit the another car and worse. Might kill the other guys in the driver, uh, the, the vehicle in the the driver in the vehicles. Okay, well done. So we have done this uh summary. So in the future, we're going to do like that. Uh, a paragraph for you to summarize, a paragraph for you to summarize. So you practice on the spot for summary writing skill. More fun, right? And yet. So this, this will be help you to do more practices for summary, correct now. So we will go to use different topics for different discussions. Ayo. You know why I say ayo no? Only you alone, eh? <clears throat> so I just uh, I also uh, rephrase this one. No, no, uh, this one is done already. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we were, uh, this one, uh, this is the last one. Okay, we have more practice, huh? Wait, uh, I put all this in first. <coughs> you must put your name on. First, this is your homework, okay? Okay, let me read and then you read yours uh, later. Okay, I'll take out this one. Giant companies with, with decades of knowledge. So when we are talking about giant companies, we are talking about Toyota, Honda, Mitsubishi, uh, General Motor, Lamborghini, Ferrari, all these big brands. Uh and Ford and Rolls Royce, yes, Rolls Royce. With decades of knowledge, are trying to catch up to Jim Hackett's Ford's chief executive, Zhong Taiya, say they were teaming up with Volkswagen's, a German uh, car maker. Give a minute. Okay, so I think Juni is not coming in. All right, I was reading the message for my uh, colleagues. Uh, Volkswagen's, uh, where am I, sorry, uh, to tackle the self-driving challenge. Volkswagen and Ford are planning to use autom autonomous vehicles technology from a startup company called Argo AI. See? In a taxi light service in a few urban zones by 2021. So it already started in some of the European countries already, yeah? But it has been a strenuous task having to stop each time an accident occurs. Oh my God. Mr. Sielski, Argo chief exactly say Argo and many competitors had developed about 80%. Uh, think about 80%. Uh, I'm not going to put my life at stake with this kind of driverless car. I'm not going to die. Uh, even though when you're sleeping, the, the, the car will take over, or even the car will tell you, hello, wake up, wake up. Your eyes must be on the wheel. 80% of the technology needed to be put self driving cars into a routine use, like for example, the radar, cameras, and other sensors that what you have mentioned, Han Yet, right? that can identify objects far down roads and highways. Okay, now Singapore is very straightforward now, Han Yeh. Okay, not like other country, you got winter, you got thunderstorm, you got well, all kinds of terrains. Singapore is very straightforward. But cars in other Europe and China, how? But the remaining 20%, including developing software that can reliably anticipate what other drivers, pedestrians and cyclists are going to do will be much more difficult. Yeah, you can control the car for the non-living thing objects like the lampposts, right? Uh, the dustbin, the wall, uh, the side road, right? Or the trees, okay? The living things, sorry, the trees. Or even the stones or something. Uh. But the thing is to control human beings. Uh, it's another level of, um, hmm, you gao nan to do something that's different. Back to you now. This one, uh, I give you 80 words. Uh, if you can summarize in 80 words. <clears throat> I come back to you. Uh.
Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? You come on, you answer ready? Not yet, huh? The summary? Okay, never mind. Oh, Juni is overseas. I think he told me last week. So sorry, uh, Juni. I think you told me last week. I can't remember. Very good. Oh, yes, thank you. Okay. It's same up. You ever come up? Have you done? No, not yet. Wait, give me a moment. I'm like 90% done. Give oh, okay, okay. I thought you copied. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I wait for you. Oh. No worry, no worry, don't stress. Take your time, take your time. You are done, done, right? Done, 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 done. Thank you very much. Done, 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 done. Wow, okay, let's see what our dear friend wrote. All right, let's bring it down here. Uh, okay, I'll change some of the words. Well, how many words? 55, let's read. Honey. Um, huge companies are trying to catch up as Ford's CEO said that they're going to be working with Volkswagen to help solve the self-driving challenge. They're planning to use the a tech called Argo Air in taxis, where they're reportedly 80 and were reportedly 80% of the way there. The air uses on the way, on the way, not on the way, uh, it's on the way there. Oh, on the way, okay. Uh, the AI uses sensors to determine the cars on the highways and roads. Well done, well done. Okay. Okay, now uh, you are the CEO, uh, uh, Johnny and Xingyu. I think this one is good to be no, uh, not say no good. Lah. Uh, no point to watch the video and then I cannot see how you present this. But by right, you're supposed to hear and then you are the CEO of your company. Please present your finding on why you choose. Waiting for Han Ye, uh, so why you choose this? Not this one, uh. I think it's not this one here. Let me see. Okay, we done this one. So Hanye, I think we have have we gone through this question? No, right? Okay, so Hanye, since uh, I think that time you are not around, uh the rest also waiting for you. So may I know 
Okay, I'll give you a one or two minutes to present to the company. So let's say uh, Andrew Raymond, I'm the CEO of the company. So my company got air freight, sea freight, and land freight. Then I decided to throw away the other two freight forwardings. Okay, freight forward uh, transportation. So I decided to say my company is going to embark on the air freight. So of course, the board of directors, everyone will ask. So those people who are working for the sea freight, just like a land, uh, uh, of course, they will be retrenched after going to then they will be out of job and things like that. So I need, I need to explain to everyone that why the company is going to embark on the journey for air freights and what is the benefits of having air freights to the company and for the future. And here I will say that because air freights is important to the company because uh, it is fast and efficient, especially in the modern society, we need to build, we need to beat the competitors in order to bring in more marketing, new products and new services, I think that only the air freights and the best technologies is convenience, is fast, is reliable, is safe. And the most important thing is that it's able to have a peace of mind for air freight. Not saying that the sea freights or the land freights are not important, but here I'm putting forward my proposal that air freights is the most um, prominence and the best ways to moving forward to let the company to allow the company to able to access more information with this technology i feel that uh, we can buy more airplanes so that we can have more better services as our clients are more sophisticated now they are more demanding they want to have a much faster and savers to deliver their products and services to their respective customers so me as a CEO, I think sea freight are still important. We can cut lesser sea freight. But of course, land freight, we need cargoes, a uh, car, sorry, vehicles like trucks, like vans, like Lala Move vans and vehicles, or even motorcycle to deliver. Take, for example, our competitors like DHL and UPS. Okay, they do have most of the time they are their air freights. So we need to compete to these head, head, head on, um, head on uh, competitions with the rest. And it is important because we need the land transport to deliver goods like when the customers from other countries, our, our branches. So our HQ is in Singapore, but we have China, we have Vietnam, we have US. So we can bring all these goods when they land in Singapore airport. We can use the land transport to deliver the goods to the respective parts of Singapore. Get it now, Anya? So this is what you're going to talk later. So, Juni, and see if you're watching this video, so you're supposed to talk like that, like a CEO of Zhong Cai. Okay? Maybe the first time you might, uh scared of things. I also practice a lot of time. I'm so not perfect. Okay? So, uh, it's an impromptu. So, this is also practice your oral presentation skills as well. Okay? I'll give you one minute to write down your script, right, if you want to. But before we start, which trick will you choose? Cheers. Um, I will choose C. I go and wash my cup. They tell me later. Why you choose C? Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to
The book will be only for the books. Okay, are you done? C freight. Let's go. Um, yes. So firstly, I'll choose C freight as uh C freight is the one of the most old types of transportation since the moment as uh, uh boats were invented, a lot of people started using the water uh using the water to transport all of the uh, goods through rivers and seas. But, and even uh, boats were used as a mode of exploration. So I think boats are a very reliable source as they have rarely have crashes and the, the, and the chances of sinking is very, very low compared to airplanes which, we can, which can just fall out of the sky if, it, if it's uh, broken. Secondly, sea can reach almost every part of the world, and even if some places they have no access to uh, sea, we can still drive uh, air freight or land freighted all over there, and thus this will be a very suitable way, and thirdly, it's very cheap. Uh, sea freight is generally cheaper than land freight and uh, air freight, uh, considering how much they can carry with the at once. So I think that this is this will be a very good opportunity to uh, promote C freight as it's uh, it's recently been declining in popularity in favor of air. Although C is actually really reliable and favorable in this condition. That's all. Zhong Zhen. Well done. Zhongzhen, right? Well done. Eh, I forgot. Which, which your subject combination so like that, Yeah, what? Uh, doing what? Uh? I, I, can, you, can, can you tell me again? Double pure oh. science. Oh, uh, yes. Double pure uh, physics can. And then uh, social study and what? Elective? Elective Chinese literature. Oh, no pure. Uh? Pure music. Huh? You take music, ah? Uh? Mm -hmm. What 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 instrument you play? Piano. Oh, you got you you mean you learn piano outside or in school? Outside. Well, you grade what? Uh, I'm going for my diploma. Whoa! You going for your diploma? So you know how to play this song? Da, 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 da. You know what song you play? Yeah. Okay. What is the title of this song? I don't uh I I I, I owe to joy, I think. Oh yes, not bad. By for my cousin, which cousin? Mozart or Beethoven? Beethoven, oh. I think. <laughs> so you're gonna be a music teacher? I'm I'm not sure. I I'm just going in for the free points. I just say it's uh, easy points. Music, ah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sounds interesting, huh? Ah? Well you think music, ah? Very, very interesting. Okay, let's go for the last sections. And uh, it seems like you are the only one today. So it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, in fact, by right, it can be covered all the way to 9.30. So we'll see how we're going to drag it out to 9.30. Okay, so Hanye and, uh, sorry, Juni and Singyi, uh, by right, you're supposed to do this as well. So I want you, uh, the last part, Hanye, is to com convert this into your own words. So what you need to do is, okay, listen. Uh, yeah, I think say this color is not very good. Let me choose. You're supposed to convert this. Uh, okay, get it? 
same thing into using all these words to make into a mini paragraph. You may start now. Wait, so you, you want me to like use like make using the you don't need to use lower, noisier, lesser, but you have to use a comparative adjective. So 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 you want me to make a paragraph just out of all of these? Yeah, using the tree, uh, using the air, land, and sea. Mm, okay. In 100 words. So inside your 100 words, uh, listen, uh, you must have the comparative like slower, faster, bigger, stronger, mightier, safer. You know that kind of words? Comparative. But of course, you want to compare the strongest, the fastest, the slowest. Also can. So you don't need to use shapes. You can use bicycle. You can use trishaw. You get it up. You can use e-scooter. You can use drones. Anything. Be more creative. Get it? Hello, Mr. Han Ye. Understand? Can? Same goes to you, Jun Ye. See? You don't just watch the video and then don't do no. After watching the video, if you can, submit your answer via WhatsApp to me so I can input to this lesson plan. All right? So in future, we'll be like that. You'll practice your summary skills as well as your grammar skills on the spot. That means it's considered as your homework. All right, let's go. You done with ya? Oh yeah, okay. I give you an example. Mm. Walking is definitely slower than taking a bicycle to go to school. But sometimes my father will take will drive me to work and drive me to school, sorry. Drive me to school. And it's definitely one of the fastest means to get to school. Get it? Something like that. So I want you to do comparative. So Judy, see if you are listening and watching this video, right? So something like that. It will help you to, uh, understand the comparative. Slow, slower, slowest. Fast, faster, fastest. Big, bigger, biggest. Comparative. <clears throat>
Well, you can use the word cheap there as well as good and fast there with the three words over there. Hey, you can use it, Han Ye. Then after that, you can test your brother. Ask him to identify the comparative adjective. <coughs> have you bought your textbook already? Ah, have you bought your textbook already? The holiday start last month, right? Remember? Right. Uh, so you must start ready, yeah. Uh. And you also got AMF, right? Uh, compulsory, huh? Oh, you're done. Uh. Oh, then you must tell me, ma. Hey, next time, can you put the full stop at the end of the sentence? Thank you. Normally, accommodate double M. FC expensive is spelled wrongly. Do you use a comparative? Huh? Can you tell me which one is comparative later? Okay, 117 words. Well done. Okay, let's read. And then you tell me to underline again, all right? In three, two, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's go. Um, faster, the first sentence. No, you read uh, uh, air, air transport. Air transport generally faster than land and air transport and sea transport. Uh, while air and sea transport are more usually more commonly used uh, than usually, land transport. Uh, usually. <clears throat> However, land transport is normally used in less developed countries where they do not have the facilities to accommodate air or sea transport. Sea and Land transport are older than uh air transport. This one uh, as the as the first flight was only in nineteen seventy three, while boats and wheels have been invented for centuries. A very soft I, I can't hear you. Can you start with the oh. sea and land transport? Are uh, older? Older is it one of them? Sea and land transport are older than air transport, as the first flight was only in nineteen o three, while boats and wheels have been invented for centuries. Lastly, air transport is more expensive than land and sea transport as the amount of fuel that is needed to propel the airplane up into the sky is a lot. And the amount of cargo is on board is that is on board is limited, hence making it exp very expensive. Yeah. What? Well, older, faster, that's all. Why don't you say cheaper? Okay, fair enough. All right, well done for this uh, few words that you use. Um, you can say, uh, let me rephrase your this. Uh, Air transport is generally better. Can I change the faster to better? Better than land and sea transport. While air and sea transport are easier. Okay. Uh uh wait uh, beside easier I'll say uh uh more convenience uh because you use the more commonly uh, so more commonly also can use that okay more commonly so you're comparing to use the land transport however land transport is normally used in lesser developed in less developed or in lesser developed country in less developed country okay fair enough uh in use in less developed countries where they do not have the facility to accommodate air or sea transport 
with better with better facilities. So sea and land transport are one of the oldest, one of the oldest, I would say oldest, huh, than air transport. Mm, I don't know, no, no. I, I prefer the land transport are the oldest, is the oldest, not sea. In fact, land transport is one of the oldest transport than sea and air transport. You agree? Before men know how to invent a ship, a canoe, or a raft, I think we start with land transport first. Agree? Then we build ship. Uh. Okay, in my opinion. Uh. Uh, as the first flight was only in 1983, uh, yeah, that's where they start World War II later on with all the base. While boats and wheels have been invented for many centuries, lastly, air transport is more expensive and costier, and the most costiest are three quid, uh, than land and sea transport. As the amount of fuels that is needed to propel the airplanes up into the sky is... Is uh, can I replace that instead of uh, it's a lot is cause here, yeah, we can use the causes. Um, let me see. Yeah, uh, wait, uh, give me a minute. Uh, can I use another words to replace? Besides causes, um, let me see when I look at this. Mm. Any similar, mm, any similar, oh, expensive and dear. Over, but okay, seems I don't have. All right, a lot causes, a lot causes, and the amount of cargoes that is on board is much limited hence making it more expensive okay can 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 thank you very much so this one i just highlight this is my my word not yours so you will not confuse <clears throat> wow one shot you have done a lot now and yet well done very proud of you so let me see any more that i missed out Maybe the last one, uh, we call it the day before we last one. What do you think about these pictures? How are you going to rephrase these pictures in your own words? Um, tap, 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 hmm. So easy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm wrong. Huh? Spider should be dash. I use the dash. Should be dash. Not latch. Latch is for the door. Sorry. To be latch on the table. Latch is more to close the door. 
I used the wrong word, so I made my mistake, all right? So please do leash your dogs and prevent them from touching the tables and chair. <laughs> uh, leash where, huh, my dear? And yeah, when you want to leash your dogs, where do you want to put? Yes. What do you think? If you cannot touch the dog, then where shall we put them? I think have like uh, some kind of um, pole to let, let them like leash the dogs to and like give them like water or something. Ah, so maybe when the owners are sitting on the uh, at the table, right, the dogs will be at one corner with a dog's place where you can lash the, the dog, not lash, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm making the dog become a non-living thing like a door, so sorry. A door, like a man, lash. So when I'm typing, I also never think. So I also make a mistake. Huh? So uh, from touching the table, so you leash the, the animals, the dogs, and one corner where the owners can have peaceful meal. But sometimes, Hanye, do you agree now? Sometimes the, the owners and the dog might want to sit together, right? The dog might be eating their dog food and the owner might be eating their human foods together on the same table, in Chai. Possible? Do you, do, you, do you have any friends who have dogs or you? Do you have any pets? No, uh, okay, okay. Thank you, ah. Uh. So you see, thanks to you, ah. Uh, if not, I'm still using to be lashing. So sometimes you need someone to correct my English at the same time, even though, okay, I, I might be, oh my God, my goodness, thank God. Okay, let me make it smaller so that you can look there. I, actually, I want to send it to my friend, ah. Uh, because this picture was sent by my friend. So I just want to show it to him. <laughs> okay. So, do you have any questions to ask Uncle Raymond? What about set three things? Anything? Mm, I, I just hope that there won't be like much burden or stuff. Okay, let, let me stop the, the... What do you mean by burden or stuff? Like, I, I, I think that... um, I, I hope that I won't like Mm, fail my subjects or stuff. Huh? Recently, PSLE result was released a few days ago. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I feel that the, the, this year, the PSLE grading and the passing rate was 98.7% or 6%, very high, compared to the past two years. Huh? Last two years, mm. I think it was 93, 95. So the bell curve or not, I don't know. But uh, if you are talking about the burden to you, we don't use the burden. However, you now you've got two years to prepare for your O-level. So besides having your tuition, you must have a proper timetable. You need to have your own strategy. If your own strategy is not working for your study, for because set three is a total different thing. Huh? So Juni and Hani, if you're listening, uh, set three is going to be a lot tougher than compared to one do. And I've seen a lot of set three students suddenly transform. Uh, some even from bad to worse, some even from worse to worse, some even don't know what. Uh, how many percentage will turn good? Uh, well, it all depends on your disciplines and dedications and your determinations to do. Because set three, you all got a lot of competitions and uh, all the schools uh, that will depend on the set three. Because the set four will be stepping down next year in April, you know, right? Because to prepare for their own level. So the set three will be taking over the leaderships and all this is uh, resting on your shoulder, the responsibility, and you will have more trainings and then you might eat out. Sometimes you cannot even attend even any Zoom or face-to-face -face tuitions. And you might affect your, your study. So best is that spend wisely. Uh, if you want to play game now, play as many times as possible, as much as possible. But when school reopen, uh, honey, at least you have to cut down with CSD. Because uh, the first few months, um, it's a lot of uh, activities going on, like, like what the, the, the what the, uh, set three cam, uh, and um, some activities going on. Then by the time you catch up, you'll be really blocked. I've seen a lot of my century students struggle for the first six months. And then by the time they want to go higher, uh, seriously, you can ask your senior, uh, go and ask your senior. By the time they go to the July, uh, there's a week uh, WA3 already, and then their result is no good. Good luck to you. Okay, some even nearly fail. Uh. I, I've seen my this year's century, uh, some, one, one student nearly fail. Uh, his English, uh, and he, pull, he, he really pull himself up. So it's all up to you guys how you want to spend your time wisely. My advice is for the next few weeks at home, come out a timetable plan. 
and and quickly buy your textbook. Uh, seriously, quickly buy a textbook. Even though you don't want to have tuition, please look through and see for yourself how tough it is. Some teacher may not use your textbook, especially your social study. Yeah, okay. Especially in social studies, it's a very brand new subject and you need a lot of reading, especially newspaper and a lot of general knowledge. Okay, it's going to test you a lot of things from there. Okay, right. Um, and um, next week, okay, uh, we'll see all of you. Hopefully, uh, Junyi and Hanye, uh, Junyi and Xinyi, I hope you can come back next week. I know maybe Junyi is in holiday already. Yeah.